Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this fun card I made using the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set and Coordinating Punch. This card is done in our new 2021 in colors that I think are just yummy and perfect for this project. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how I got started. I'm going to start my project with some die cutting and wanted to share with you this um, shape that I used. It is the scallop edge here from the basic borders dies. I just ran it through the stamp and cut and emboss along the bottom edge, cutting off about an eighth of an inch or so. You can do a little more, um, but you want to leave enough room for your popsicles and your ice cream cone on the top here. So let's get started stamping. I'm going to bring in my soft succulent base and my er evening evergreen along with the sentiment here, and I'm gonna start by stamping this in the bottom right-hand corner. If you want, you can set this on here as a mask so you know you've got it where you want it. I can set this aside. Next, I'm going to bring in my pale papaya and my ice cream cone punch. I'm going to ink up this little sprinkle image with my crumb cake, and I'm going to punch that out quickly with my punch. There we go. I'm going to stamp my ice cream cones and popsicles next. And so I'm going to take this triangle image for my ice cream cone and place it right here in the center. I'm starting there so I know where to place my popsicles. I'm going to take the cross hatch and do the detail on the ice cream cone. And now I'm ready to move on to my popsicles. Now, you need the chamois in order to clean this because we'll be switching colors. So I'm going to ink this up in the Fresh Freesia first, stamp off, and I'm going to stamp this to the left of the ice cream cone about a quarter of an inch from the top. And then I'm going to bring in my polished pink and do the same thing here on the right and clean that. Then I'm ready for the bottom of the popsicle and I'm gonna line this top corner up here. I'm doing these full strength. Since it's a two-step, I wanted that different color. And let's see if I can do this with the camera. That's not too bad based on the fact that the camera is kind of above me. And I'll do the polished pink next. There we go. My ink pads are kind of juicy and I and I should have let the stamp dry in between. Um, that causes that little speckle image. So make sure you allow this to dry a bit. I'm going to pick up the sprinkle image and stamp these little sprinkles on my ice cream, excuse me, popsicle. And then I'm gonna turn it and stamp this other popsicle with the polished pink. There you go. Now I'm moving on to the popsicle sticks with my crumb cake. So I'm gonna bring in the solid image here, stamp off, and stamp it right below the popsicle and do that again on the other one. I'll bring in the wood image and I'm gonna do this full strength. In between stamping, I'm going to turn it a little bit so it appears more random. So let me set this aside and we'll move on to assembly. To begin assembly, we're gonna take our card base and fold it on the score line and make a nice tight crease with our bone folder. I'm going to adhere this front panel using some dimensionals. I wanted a little bit of lift so that there's some shadow under this since I wanted it to look like a tablecloth. So I'm going to add plenty of dimensionals on the back because this is a large piece. Remove the backings. Once I have the backings removed of those dimensionals, I'm going to bring this in and adhere it right to my card flop stock, lining up those outer edges. There we go. The next thing I'm going to bring in is my ice cream cone here, and I am going to adhere this right on top of the little ice cream cone. If you want to pop it up, you can, but I'm going to do that flat since my tablecloth has popped up. Next, I'm going to bring in these silver and clear epoxy essentials. They have circles and little diamonds and these lovely little teardrops. And not only do they come in the clear that we're gonna to use today, but the silver. So I'm going to bring these in and I'm going to start by taking my Stampin' Blends 
and coloring. This happens to be the, t the dark shades of the pale papaya that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to color this first gem. Then I'm going to bring in the Fresh Freesia and I'm gonna color in one of these little drops. I'm going to use that for melting ice cream. And finally, the Evening Evergreen and I'm going to color in two of these clear circles. You'll want to let these dry for a couple of seconds and then you can use them on your project. So I'm going to start with my pale papaya. I'm going to pick it up with my take your pick tool and I'm going to pop it right here to the left of those sprinkles. Next I'm going to pick up the little teardrop or melting drop and I'm going to pop it right here on my popsicle. And finally, I'm going to pick up my two evening evergreens, and I'm going to pop one on each side of my sentiment. Whoops. There we go. It's that quick and easy. I just love these little essential epoxy pieces. They go with this stamp set wonderfully. And since we can color them, they give you all kinds of options. I think you're really going to enjoy stamping with the Sweet Ice Cream Bundle of Products. It's a lot of fun to work with and makes really cute cards. If you like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.